Uh, hello everybody and of course welcome back to another Slytherin stream and of course brought to you by myself Mr Richard York. Uh, further ado, thank you very much Slytherin Games and of course happy birthday uh, to them for uh, running this really really entertaining uh, stream today. I've really I've, I've watched most of it and today we are going to be streaming the next hour of Fancy General 2 the prologue campaign, a short introductory campaign. Uh, before we start uh, today ladies and gentlemen please make sure you join um, the Slytherin Discord uh, for their free game giveaway. I'll drop the Twitter link into the chat as we speak. So if you join the Discord um, and we, of course, there is a free giveaway. Okay, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, on purposely today, I have not played this. It was released last night, this um, um, this uh, short introductory campaign. Um, I didn't play it on purpose because I wanted it to be all to be a surprise uh, on stream. So we've got about just under an hour. I will try and keep it quick, uh, but we'll see how far we can get here. So you've received reports of strange cattle raids near the border. The cattle herds have been killed, mutilated, the cattle have been slaughtered for no apparent end. Uh, the salient tracks lead beyond the borders and your people are clamouring for help. Uh, so you have set off with a small band to investigate the brutal raids. So, let's have a look. What do we have? So, oh, so we have a new leader. We have a new leader. So, is that Philos, an Imperial General? And I think it's, I think, I think it'd be fitting that we actually select him if we can. Uh, so, can recruit uh, Imperials from the siege uh, engines. A strict leader controls his soldiers uh, with an iron fist and has personally devised a regime of new drills to make his army second to none. Oh, I like his portrait. Like I said, the guys uh, who made Fantasy General 2, uh, their portraits are second to none. I like that shadow figure. So, we're starting army with uh, three units of hunters and three units of spearmen. So, a very balanced, powerful list in my opinion. Very interesting pretty good pretty good taxation receives gold for income from settlements castles as long as they're wealth left in the region so that's that's pretty good actually uh, so even if you capture you're not raiding more than anything else as you would uh, as the barbarians uh, m uh, merchants guilds can buy various items from trade contacts while on the world map so that's a new added extra there so remember if you do own fancy generals too or you're thinking about buying it this is a free as Marco said before, a free demo towards it. Um, I, like I said, I've not played this yet anyway, so this could go pear-shaped. This could go well. We're going to have a look. And let's choose the hero. Um, we're just going to click it as normal. We're just going to see how far we can actually get through this. Okay, so it's pretty good. I've really enjoyed. Hope everybody has enjoyed today's uh, events. Remember, if you are on YouTube uh, or Facebook and you want to come and chat, make sure you come on to the Twitch channel. Um, and we can come and have a chat on here. Okay, let's not get killed. Be careful. We're nearing the report spoke of. I expect we shall soon encounter the brigands or whoever's killed the cattle. Oh, dear. Halt. The raid's approaching. Ready your weapons. Help, my village. They are all sick, killing us. We're dying. Help. Hello, Gamer1745. Uh, what village are you talking about? What happened? He told us I... Bleh, his wounds are too grievous. His wound <laughs> make him so far. But looks like his wound mark on struck him on the back. Um, I'm going to die from illness. Still, maybe it's safer to stay back. We know what to for the people. I feel we'll not have to find the village. Talk about and get to the bottom of things. Whoever killed him will still be around. It might be the same people who killed the cattle herders. Keep on the tracks. Okay, Whoa. so we got to capture or raid the settlements. Your main hero must survive. Okay, so oh, this is a very, a, a very much a wooded area. This is not going to be great at all for us here. Um, we've got a nice little river, plain. Is that a river? It's a road. Sorry, it's a road, not. A so the cav. He's on a horse, uh, which is going to be quite awesome. Um, we've got three units of spearmen, just generic. Defense fire retreat. The archers have retreat, uh, and they are all terrain. Spearmen can fortify, which is the fortification damage reduction, which is beautiful. Um, so a good little mix there. So of course, spears to the front, archers to the rear. I am, I am both of them. The cattle and the herders. I've got to say, gamer seventeen forty five. I love your portrait picture. You know, you look very, uh, you look very handsome with your long hair on the portrait picture on your webcam. Okay, so 
Uh, what does my Dre? He has Raleigh. Um, he is, of course, mounted, but then that gives him difficulties towards um, the swamp and difficult uh, t terrain. Uh, he is, of course, the hero. Um, and he, of course, is my main hero. So we'll open the skill tree because I've not seen. I'll be interested to see. He's, he seems more of a recruitment general. Uh, so he, of course, he has bigger pockets. He has war leader, which gives him the uh, buff of people bu around him. He has conscript. Ooh, raise the settlement and force the population to fight as mercenaries. That is nice. That is nice. Um, quartermaster, of course, is the general supply unit increase. Um, Elite Conscript. Conscription yields better units. Grants the skill Elite Conscript. Raise a settlement. Force population fight on your side as mercenaries. Wow, that is a nice little tree to go up to the left side. And of course, I think the right side is more about buffing himself. He's got more health. Breakthrough. Uh, drill if you lose heroes. Um, army Stance. Advance. Army Stance. Defense. So defense gives minus two speed. Fortification damage reduction. So it's all about buffing his own units, attack, and march. And then he has drill. Ah, that's really interesting, actually, to see what kind of hero. So he's a, he's more of a uh, buff, he buffs, he's buffing your units around you here, more than anything. Okay, without further my lollygagging, um, I just want to quickly look at the, um, where do these go up to? Def de he's got up to deaf dealers or border riders, but we've got enough, no money for that. Okay, so we're going to be very, very careful here. Um, we'll, we'll advance the spearmen to... And we'll have the archers just behind. So we do have a cave right there. Can we... Ooh, if we're, risk, if we're feeling... If we're feeling excitable, we could rush our commander into that um, cave. See what yields it. We are going to do it. Oh, 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 oh. Clans people over there. Greetings. We were sent to investigate the recent... They aren't listening. Their face is sort of enraged. Draw your weapons. They're going to attack. Oh. Okay, so we did just find 52 gold in the cave. We found some... Um, not hungry wolves. Famished wolves. Um, and they just like spear maidens. So that's not particularly going to be a massive problem. Let's see if they go... Nope, they don't rush ahead. Uh, we just want to keep our defence line. Remember, it's all about the defence fire. We want to keep uh, our uh, archers right behind our, our spear units. You see, I would go and hit these wolves. I'm going to move this infantry slightly forward. And then we're going to see how far they push push behind, uh, push behind to us. But they may have slingers as well, being clansmen. It seems at the moment in time there are just spear maidens. There's 12... Um, there is 12 turns of wealth in this region. So yeah, um, it's very nice being able to play Empire on a campaign. Uh, because we're definitely going to see the other side of the uh, board game, really, rather than the Barbarians. I think we are going to go and attack the wolves. Because we might yield something up here. Oh, and we actually undercovered a, um, a camp. That is a very favourable attack there. Uh, but I reckon the wolves will retreat back at some point very soon. Okay, if we shift one of the arch units forward, uh, we can fire with a one volley. And then we can probably just take that camp. Azar! So, that push. That push there uh, gained us some volunteers. And we've got ruins there as well. So, we're going to go on the ruins. Uh, so, the ruins will give us, of course, rough terrain, which breaks charge and gives us fortification uh, damage reduction. And also giving us a belt of bear, bit bear strength. Um, uh, the wearer becomes the slayer, trained in killing heroes and large monsters. Woo! I think I would like to give that my officer. <laughs> Thank you. And he then they're going to fire some spears at the famished wolves. So, we're just going to advance very slowly towards these Spear Maidens. I'm not entirely sure what... I've got no recon, unfortunately. So, we could get a cropper here quite quickly. 
So there's lots of terrain. They're just on a settlement. They they classed as frenzied Highlanders. That's the owner. I'd be very surprised if they push out to actually attack us here. Quite frankly, we are not bothered that the um, uh, that the wolves have gone away. We aren't we aren't, aren't going to chase after the wolves. Getting that volunteer unit so early on is brilliant because it's just the uh, remember it's just what I can upgrade them to because we can go to spearmen or hunters if we have the uh, correct uh, weapons and uh, gold, uh, which will probably be m marginally further on in the campaign. Hello, only sleeping. Okay, so we're just going to advance forward with all of the spearmen, and we're just going to pummel the um, the settlement with uh, archer fire. But just remember, he's got fortification reduction damage, and it's going to take me a while just to hit him off. But we've got all our units surrounded. He may surrender if we get lucky. They're just going to rest up here, so we're just going to punish them a little bit. go and I think that would be just not killed us yet but I reckon if we move the volunteers down they can fire some spears and it will be game over and then we'll just get these last spearmen to take the town uh, where are the villagers we're near these maddened warriors uh, the people seem to have fled their homes or another village not far from here it appears uh, where they have went to where they leave a foot here it does not seem the brigands have reason for it I hope to find answers in the next village Perhaps the barbarians have had their quick blood feuds. These wild men, their kin, at the slightest provocation. Animals. The barbarian scum. Okay, we're going to heal our leader up slightly. Um, spearmen aren't going to go too far ahead. I can imagine bad stuff being eyes. We do have a tower there. I think that is everything we can do. Okay, got to keep this formation. I, I've got to say, I sometimes forget to use the fortification uh, ability on the spearman because it is very, if you feel like you're going to take a lot of damage uh, that turn, you could just go into defense mode and it'll be well worth it. So now we've, uh, our army has slightly increased with the volunteers. Uh, remember, they do have a... Ooh, we found some stag riders. Oh don't like stag riders we are going to sit in the forest and hopefully fire arrows at them until they die and unfortunately i think it's range two for the uh for the short bow and it is it's the speed the hit and run ability is amazing if you do play the barbarians that is just that they're awesome they're absolutely awesome and we have some younglings uh, on the other side of the river we can't attack them just yet we do have a chance to retreat, so we've got to judge it if we will push forward with the um, uh, with the archers or not, or the uh, volunteers. So, as I said, there is a huge river there, um, and it is massively going to negate if you push on that attack. So we, if we can prov if we can just annoy them slightly, they may push the attack, and then we may just be able to shoot them across the river. Attacking them, attacking them in the river is going to be brilliant here. So I think if we swap the units of volunteers out for the archers, we can probably hit them with some archer fire. Just remember, it's just the wealth is running out on the provinces here. Okay, and I think you're going to stay there. As you can see, the um, my general is hidden still, uh, but you can see everybody else. And you can see the volunteers and the archers that just fired. Okay, so he did advance, and we're going to punish him here for being in the river. You can see the um, minus 50% armor modification, but also the minus 25% uh, damage. And you can't charge. So if we move these archers back here, fire away. And fire away again. And then we're just going to finish them up. We'll end up in the river, unfortunately, but uh, I'll, I'll accept that. Um... One aspect about a uh, Fantasy General 2 that I like is um, just 
uh, if you keep your units alive, it's the keeping it's that that longevity of your units. The longer you're going to keep them alive, the 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 higher rank they're going to get, the more damage they're going to put in, and more health they're going to get. And it just really helps out when you get these higher units, uh, and it really does show further on in the campaign. So I think we could advance our general slightly across there. Uh, if we were to get hit by the hit and run of the stag riders, we will get defense fire, as you can see. So if you do select their unit, hover over your unit, and you'll see the reaction and the damage they're going to um, attack me. So they're actually attacking me on an unfavorable attack there, because uh, we're getting defense fire as well, and they're attacking. And they are fast, though. That's not bad. We'll, 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 that's a, a very much a positive attack there for us if they try to. So we're going to advance with... Where's the other settlement? So the settlement is to the northeast. So we're gonna have to we'll make sure we can capture as much as we can as well. Okay, so we are all good there, I think. So they do go for the attack, but they attack the unit that isn't covered by the archers. Um so we are gonna uh, it's disordering. Uh, we are gonna hit them again. But receive damage in in, in, in reaction. Okay, Mr. General across the river, and we got protected. And that will give us a uh, minus percent for suffer kills. Can't complain there. Okay, we are going to ford this river now. It would have been nice to kill them, but I think they are just going to run up. Uh, they, they have a chance to retreat, uh, a 33% chance. So this attack could fail, and they may run away. Nope, they sit there and take it, and that is particularly fine for me, because I'm not really else going to do anything. Okay, the question is, does he get the kill, or does he retreat? Nope. Unfortunately, the stag rider is slain where he stands, and there's a mana pool there. Unfortunately, this time, we don't really have any magic, um, uh, any shamans or anybody, or transmuters for casting any magic. Okay, as you can see, this river is its not pretty trying to cross it. And I'm glad there weren't more uh, barbarians or clansmen across that river. So the Empire are the Spearmen are brilliant. I think these Spearmen are by far one of my favourite uh, units in here. And especially when you can go up to Phalanxes and Death Dealers as well. Oh, it just gets... The, the, the top tier are just crazy. Okay, I think that's all we can do. We are still going. Oh, so Friends of the Highlands receive reinforcements. So there are more reinforcements here. Okay, we're going to make sure we can form up again before we take the final assault to this uh, final city. Because I don't want to attack in dribs and drabs. Because I, I can imagine there's... Uh, I'm, I'm expecting there to be a, a character there or something as the final boss. Uh, we can see some spear maidens, and it is nice on our side of the map that we have all this forest because we're going to get all this missile protection. Uh, and of course, some of our units can hide in the woods as well. Um, I don't know, it's going to slightly move across. It's really nice that it's mounted. You miss that speed. So we do have that slayer on our ca on our general. So if they do have an officer, or a f or a f they probably have a fane, I think a fane, it'd be a fane, it would be. And we'll we can just uh, we will just run in there and hit him on the head. Okay, we have uh, two units of younglings. Luckily enough, we got an ambush. So as you just saw there, we hit them twice as they came in. And then we retreated. So that was a double whammy shot. Um, which I cannot complain about. That was pretty awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to defend our archers in a standard setting. That retreat is annoying, but... A very reliable uh, trait to have on some of your, which, on some of your units. So we're going to line up, and we are just going to punish the younglings for pushing on us in that quick time fashion. And it was a textbook maneuver. The youngling slain with minimal damage. Um, we will send our other young uh, volunteers. We'll send our volunteers back up here. See if we can make him attack us again. Um, we're going to push the commander into there. He's hidden, so he has the chance to ambush. I think there's a. Um, it's just a settlement. I thought it was a fortress there for a second. There we go again. So 
volunteers retreated again, and then the younglings are going to be punished again. And of course, moving the uh, uh, spearmen around, and then archers again. Archers will move down again and do the exact same thing. Uh, they are broken, so that th they're going to die. Uh, that's a massive damage modifiers. We'll just finish them off with the spearmen. So unfortunately, the computer player playing slightly badly. They're attacking the younglings twice in a row. Uh, but it paid dividend me with the line of uh, spearmen and the line of archers just to deliver that uh, final attack. Okay, so oh, we're going to have to attack with... So we've got a unit of slingers. So we are going to take some missile fire here. Did we capture... Yeah, we captured that. Yeah, we did capture that. Uh, I'm going to expect an ambush or something at the end of this. It's got to be an ambush. I've not seen a Fane or anything. Okay, the volunteers are going to run in there. They volunteered. We did take some damage back there. Nothing spawned. I was expecting something to spawn. Oh, some spear maidens. And we will see you later. We're, we're going to we're gonna die there. So we will just... So, so they're slingers and just uh, spear maidens. So what we'll do, we'll advance both units of spearmen. All this way into spearmen here. Um, unfortunately, they're in the woods and they're in, in the settlement, so they're both getting a lot of range damage reduction. Uh, but we're going to rain arrows. We're, we're going to uh, uh, block out the sun, I would say, with the arrows. I would have liked to... Oh, I should have attacked the uh, slingers. You see, he's getting defensive. I don't think he's on rough terrain. Oh, he's yes. So the actual settlement itself is on rough terrain, which gives the slingers their special ability, which is um, plenty of ammo. Uh, they get uh, infinite um, ranged defense. So every time I attack them or attack an adjacent unit, they will always get ranged defense on it. It's pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty, I've got to say. It's not an easy feat to be killing. Okay, so... What would be the attack here? It's classed as a stalemate. They're taking slightly more damage here, uh, but only slightly. Um, I think I'm not going to attack with my melee units. Oof. That hurt. If we go fortify, uh, we'll just fortify that unit then, and then we'll push... We'll just shoot them up again until we take the settlement. That's disordering. Even better. And then straight into the settlement. And there we go. I fear we have come t uh, too late. Look at the carnage. Women, children, everyone has been slaughtered. Who did this? Why would the raiders kill the people but not take the loot? Uh, this is not the work of raided brigands. Whoever madness hold of them, they appear to have slaughtered one another. <laughs> Look at their faces, twisted agony and fear, like some unnameable horror. Uh, this must be a terrible cause from vile sorcery. Oh, we don't like sorcery. We don't like sorcery. If you were one of a brother killed brother, parents killed their children, no natural cause of such frenzy. I'm still loving that portrait. That is a very, very nice portrait. Allow one to interfere with my subjects like this. Look at the damage they cause. Not to mention the loss of coffers. Uh, we'll have to find who just whipped me to death for the trouble. Find the culprit. There's a pair of fresh tracks leading away to the south. Should we follow them? Uh, do so. Scout ahead and we'll follow as soon as we are ready. So, an easy mission there straight away. We could have lost units, but with um, some clever tactics we've been. We did scavenge 300 gold there as well, so we're not particularly coming. So, I want to see his, um, as an Empire General, to see his benefits, because we can buy stuff in the on the map mode. Ooh! Oh! Okay, folks, this is going to the chat. This is always going to the chat. What do you think we need? So, we've got 400 gold already in the coffers. Two armor, five weapons, or younglings. This is going to all you la la lads and ladies in the chat. What do you think we need the most? I'm tempted for the weapons. Because um, I think we can upgrade the archers there to um, a higher tier archer with the weapons. Or do we go for the armor? 
Oh, we've got split dip opinions here. Can I not break that tie? I I'm aiming towards the weapons, Pixel, uh, Ethan. I'm, I'm tempted for the weapons just, just for the uh, extra archers and get. Yeah, that's what my thought is for that so early on because sometimes you can lock in with some of the items. Oh, is anyone going to break the deadlock? Oh, well, I just have to make the choice. and I think we're going to go with weapons, I think. Five weapons is hard to pass up. It's like when you see Liquid Manor in this game. You, you just click, you want to click it. Hmm. I think weapons is where we're going. I think if no one has any other opinions in chat, yeah, Mumin, uh, Mumin's, Mumin's a man. He knows what he's talking about. He's uh, he, he, he's always giving me sound advice on fantasy generals. So the tracks uh, lead further to the borderlands. They are about half a day ahead of us. Uh, do not lose the murderous trail. We'll rest our troop briefly. Follow soon. Brilliant. Yeah, I love liquid mana. We just need more liquid mana. So. Let's have a look. What missions we got? We got the Scarlet Mountains. The scenario locks all of our choices. This yields resources or the Vale Wood. The scenario yields an artifact. So this is new because I've not seen this before. So as you can see, at the bottom right, we have uh, merchants. So here you can trade resources uh, with merchants. Contracts. Uh, contacts you've made. Not all factions have access to merchants. Some prices are quite steep a granary worker oh gosh she don't like me she's a bit grumpy isn't she look at her face look at her face so supply i could buy supply if i had the gold which is a nice little or liquid courage to honest with you, i've not never particularly used the liquid courage or wow wow but being able to buy liquid mana that is entertaining but also buying weapons buying arm is that used to upgrade a defensive troop used to upgrade oh i've not seen this before now what does it mean used to up upgrade a defense troop does that mean it gives me armor and gives me weapons Let's have a look at the uh, the the training grounds. So here you can improve your troops, grant them special promotions. Heroes join your army, each provide their own unique training opportunities. Only non-hero units can be trained, and a unit can receive each promote only once. So uh, we've got Empire faction training. We've got training session. Um, can't do any of them anyway, unfortunately. Oh, so this is. Yeah, I don't think it's a, a, applicable at the moment. This is for him. I'll teach these imbeciles to fight like soldiers. No, we can do, I think we can do this. Oh, thank you for the chair, Oaken Shield. I, I, I clicked the browser this time. I actually made it work so it came up. Yeah, I, I, I can only imagine this is on a future DLC. So they're aiming up for an empire. Uh, an empire, of course, DLC. I like it. I like it because it's. You, you, it seems we're pushing away from more magic uh, and more focusing on your troops. And I, I like that kind. Of, I like that change, I, and it's exciting. That is, I. I really can't wait to get into the fickle of this, but I'm slightly. I think I will waste the hundred gold to show you guys on stream what the armor does. Is it buying armor? What? Uh, wait a second. What? What can we actually upgrade with liquid mana? I think if we went up to death dealers but it's for me it's the weapons to go to missile troops that's the upgrade i want you see this is why i said weapons because um i don't know who said it a couple of uh, people in chat a while ago on one of the streams hunters look at the range three uh three steps of range from the two from the archers they just just insane and it's insanity and for only two weapons and 23 gold you could i could well i am going to upgrade the both of the arch units oh no it's gonna have to do them oh i've made a massive mistake it's gonna have to be i'm gonna have to do it twice it's the i could upgrade one of the spearmen to that no it's i have to go to the bowman but it it, it will go to the um, longbowman that's what the aim is overall. Oh, damn it. I've got to follow this silly thing. It's still too range though. But they are they are hitting out a lot more damage. And I think regardless of that, we are going to do two units to um, two units to Bowman. And then if we do in the further in the campaign, upgrade them to Longbowman. Um, we could upgrade the pellets, which unfortunately they are good. 
Yeah, it's a transmuters. It is a transmuter. Yeah, I, I hopefully we do get transmuter. I know it would be nice to. Uh, as I said, transmuters. I I don't like that unit because it just it just if you get the right combination with uh, generating mana, you can spam them with undead, and that's what I would do if I whenever we do get trans. So what I'm going to do just for the chat and for the viewers, we're going to see what this does. Is it? I'm assuming it's selecting here. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to click armor and see what it does. Oh, no, it just purchases armor. No, it just purchases armor. So it's 100 gold just to purchase. So in theory, you, you want to be getting as much gold as possible in the game, which you're going to do anyway. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Yeah, I got a single armor. Now, what does this one do? Um, it looks quite self, but unfortunately, it decreases our liquid mana. But I don't think we can particularly upgrade any. I don't think we need liquid mana just yet, anyway, because we're just like way down on the tech tree, anyway. We'll try the. Um, I'll try the. No, that's selling it. That must be selling it. That must be selling it. Um, goods and so yeah, gold. So we're selling the weapons for armor. So you have a way of. Buying armor, buying weapons, but also a way to sell your weapons, buy and sell your armor. So it's back and back and forth. But I reckon there won't be a profit. There's not a profit on that. But I don't really want to sell it. But at the same point, I still want to press it. I still want to click it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna click that and see what it does. Yeah, it just sells. It just sells it. It sells. Yeah, it just sells it. Well, that makes complete sense. And then we just need to buy it again. <laughs> no, that 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 makes sense. That makes sense. That's a, a little bit more. And he, he is going to, of course, go to a bowman. Um, I uh, don't think we can afford to do that, can we? So it's going to be fifty-fifty. Which I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Which I think I am. Yeah, it's it's still it's still thing, but without I mean, so buy one weapon fifty, sell two weapon to get fifty. Yeah, I, I suppose it can't be beneficial to keep buying and selling. It's either you want to get rid of it or buy it. So I think we're just gonna buy two weapons and then oh right, muff that up. A seventy gold. I'm just but no. Then wait a second. Here we go. So you can't sell armor. You can't sell armor. So that that might be that might be something that I'd like to add. So it's just it's just oh that's unfortunate. Uh, never mind. We've we've done it now. Um, oh, so we did. We could actually see what's um, so sending. So we actually have actually. I think it's because we didn't have enough. Um, I don't understand how that's. I think because I didn't select one of the units. So this word formation standing unit is closed formation provides or formation. Uh, siege engineer extra armor. Ooh, so you can actually just add the arm. That's that's interesting. I don't know if I'll do that though. But I suppose if you did lose units and you wanted to re uh, train them back up, um, for this one anyway. You see, is that a level of experience, or is is that just a hundred experience? Mm, I might have to read some patch notes or some update notes on that. But I like the way they're going with it. I like the way they're going with it. Um, see, it's letting me upgrade them as well again. To I'm not entirely sure what's next on the tech tree. You see, oh, we can just yeah, uh, we can and we are gonna upgrade that to a longbowman, and then we can have fire arrows. Yeah. Now that's that's really good. I like that. But slightly clearer, but still good. Mm. Okay, so we've got a choice, ladies and gentlemen, of the thing. I think we'll probably get one game back in here before we have to leave, because we're on for an hour here. Uh, so we have the Scarlet Mountains. So we've got resources or an artifact. 
I have not met everybody, and I think along the road we can buy artifacts. I think I want to get resources. Uh, we're going to click it. So you followed the mysterious tracks for days, finally lost them near the vile uh, wood. Uh, has prey entered to be witched. The forest gone further eastward in Scarlet Mountains. Ooh, this is going to be uh, particularly interesting. So we're going to be, hopefully we're not going to have any harpies here, because I don't like harpies, because they're uh, pretty good. Okay. So the Cross Mountains now in the clans, uh, it may look kindly on that. I don't care what they want. A uh, task of Phil won't let them stop us. Harpies, we don't want harpies. Uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna cry because we had arguments about who were female characters or not. Okay, so reach the exit zone, uh, and your main hero must survive. Oh, it's like, it's. It's like a fair distance. Oh, I don't mind trolls. I don't mind trolls. We've got Bowman now. Yeah. Mm. We've not got a wolf mother, unfortunately. <laughs> so, what works successfully in the first match? We're going to use the layer of spearmen, followed by... Um, a layer of archers. Like I said, we've upgraded to the bowmen, um, which I recommend. But also, even top that, the long bowmen. The long bowmen is, is brilliant. And they're always hidden. Uh, unit can hide uh, and remains hidden in any terrain. So we have a burial mound here. What we're going to do first, we're going to push the volunteers in there. And we get some armour. We've got to be careful there's no swamp creatures in the swamps because there could be some um, lizard men in there. So remember, uh, uh, Philos has the uh, belt of the bear strength, so he's good at killing um, any enemy characters or large creatures. So if we do come across any trolls, uh, we'll be uh, trolling the troll. I don't like this when the map forks off in two places. Oh, we've got oh, we've got uh, some crows, some crows. We are going to shoot you, crows, with our archers. Thank you very much. Nice to crow you. Oh, it makes such a sad sound, that does. I am waiting for some wolves to attack me from this uh, wood. T guess meat's back on the menu, boys! <laughs> I can hear the iron eaters boot stomping on the ground. Uh, they must be close. I see them. Look at their faces, twisted in rage. Fear our mistress sorcerer as a work already. Uh, we have to defend ourselves against the madness. Beware of the uh, armoured fighters. Their weapons will have a hard time cutting through their iron. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, no, I don't think it's going to be a problem here at all. We'll just form our defence line again. Okay, and I think we're all gravy. 14 turns of um, loot left. Oh. We're probably going to fortify these both units. I'm, I'm not attacking them. I'm not attacking them, uh, the younglings, unless it's very beneficial, uh, which it isn't. So fortify, fortify, and you are going to run ahead and throw some little spears at them. Uh, then you're going to sit here, and you're going to not doing anything. So we could probably get a good sneaky couple of kills here. If we move the um, longbowmen to the right, because they the longest range. We'll move the archers down here. Uh, these guys will finish these off, or near enough. Uh, disordering, disordering. Can't particularly, but I think we can actually probably go for the kill here. Now. Uh, and I think our commander can come in and start wailing now. 
And I think that's all I'm going to do. Oh! Crows are in! We're going to finish these off quite quickly. I don't like these. XP around, lads. XP around. And they are level 2 now. Brilliant. And I'm, I don't want to take any damage from these... Um, Youngling, so I'm just going to use the volunteers to pepper them with spears. Uh, we do have a mana pool to the right. We're just going to run there with our general. Oh, we've undercovered some hidden crouching tiger, hidden javelin flowers and younglings. If we do stick our longbowmen here, I think we could probably shoot over that hill, which would be quite good. Ooh, they're aggressive. Uh, they're breaking the charge on that rough terrain. Them younglings aren't going to last very much longer because everybody else is just going to run in there and fire as many, many arrows as possible. I think we're just out of range there, unfortunately. And we are... But the commander will go in there. And I'm more likely they will rest up this turn. I'm not going to attack the javelin throwers because they got a high chance of retreating back. Uh, and then we'll be, we'll be able to catch them anymore. Uh, if I could have just moved them one space out. But that's just my bad positioning more than anything. Oof. Okay, you can end his existence. Move these here, and then hopefully I can hit the javelin throwers. I don't want to engage them in combat, just because of the chance of them running away. Which is severely annoying. Uh, we are going to receive some damage back here. Uh, but disordering them. Um, what I'm going to do... Can't block them in. I was trying to be smart there, but it didn't work. Let's see if they do run away. We will attack. Uh, they didn't retreat, which is brilliant. Let's try it again. Do we get lucky? No. But he did retreat there, and then that just means we can walk over and hit him with our long, long spears. And levels around. See if these uh, axemen come out of the settlement. Well, if they don't come out of the settlement, we're going to sit here and we're just going to shoot them. Unfortunately, they are in a castle. This I think that is a, it's, not, it's not just a settlement, but it's a walled settlement. Uh, that is mighty tough. I would like to um, I would like to get that if we can. We are just going to advance here. I'm surprised we've not seen a fane or two around yet. Let's see if he pushes out of this settlement. I'd be I'll be quite happy if he actually tries to attack me here. Oh, we did get a level. We did get a level. Um so I'm thinking war leader because the conscript one looks really good just for uh, to go to a town and then force more population to be your mercenaries. I think that is the way I'm going to go. We'll do war leader. Uh, so everybody's got that uh, aura of plus one morale and plus percent, ten percent damage. So they did come out and hit the volunteers. Unfortunately, they didn't actually uh, run away. So we are going to physically run away. I need them to come one space out, please. Unfortunately, we're going to be sieging that for days. <laughs> I don't think that I really want to sit there sieging it. I would like to take this settlement before we go. And you are all gravy. 
They will become harassed. <laughs> yes, they do get harassment. Yes, we do. We do need a catapult. That would finish him off. I'm happy just pummeling with arrows. It's fine. It is Fantasy Generals 2. It's the new introductory campaign. Free if you own Fantasy Generals 2. It's uh, using the Empire. Well, you can use Empire. Oh, these guys are like tough as bricks. All right, we're just going to fortify. I don't think he's going to attack, so... Uh, one second. Okay, no, I just got a message to play slightly longer, guys, to ten past two. Um, so we can we don't have to rush too much because uh, I know we're slightly uh, over schedule. Okay, firing away, firing away again, and the longbowman. That upgrade was brilliant. It's just punishing. And finally, the destruction. Oh, he just got another level. Yes, he did. And we're we're going to try the conscript because uh, this is for the chat because I, I think this will be brilliant. What? You need a job? You want a job? You're going to come and join the army, son. Okay, let's get everybody out of this town. I'm assuming it's because everybody's got wealth. You ready for it, lads? Meat back on the menu, boys. Oh, I like that. I like the little, um, <laughs> the little rotating shields. That's a nice little addition to that. What do we get? Oh, we're, we're, we're getting attacked at the same time. And we got some more volunteers, skirmishers. So they are they are classed as mercenaries. I don't think we get them just as a force from now on, but <laughs> you know that is kind of cool. Uh, we are just going to box them in and shoot them up with arrows. Uh, Pixel's got a lot of dark secrets. He just won't tell us. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Well, I'm getting a bit over, uh, over cocky here a little bit. I'm just going to hold back a second. And they are heavy axemen as well. Come on. Retreat, 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 retreat. Ooh. The that was painful. Oh. No. Please don't attack me anymore. Flee. Form the line, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we are going to now shoot them. Thanks, Bruno. I got your message on Discord. I'd, uh, <laughs> Which two o'clock? AM or PM? <laughs> uh, we're gonna shift these here. We're gonna shift these here. Unfortunately, they will be. They won't be in fortified mode. So uh, it's risky bringing them out that close. I should have really put him there, but that's my decision. <laughs> Ooh, them heavy axemen. Them heavy axemen are a little bit scary. And he kills them. He kills them. Well, we're going to punish the, uh, the the cavalry now. Disordering everybody. Um, so the region wealth has gone now, unfortunately. We're going to run you into the... Uh, into there, you're going to come out. Wow, they are particularly annoying, these heavy axemen. Armour 11 as well. Oof. 
a bit of all right. Come on, don't retreat, don't retreat, don't retreat. And he didn't retreat. That's brilliant. And we are great. Their armor is uh, is really good. I have nothing to degenerate it either, so and we're not going to attack him in close combat because we are going to die horrendously. Uh, we're going with the javelin throwers across to the right. Uh, do the skirmish attack. It's probably not enough to kill them, or only. Let's get these guys here actually resting because uh, that would be beneficial uh, when we finish this mi mission. So unfortunately losing one of our spare infantry, um, but I underestimated the armour of the Heavy Axemen quite dramatically there. And the younglings are in. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, we can... Yeah, we can move up. Uh, I think the escape is just to the north, so we're not far off. Unfortunately the wealth has gone in the region, but that's fine. I think they are just in range. Yes, they are. We're not totally, we're not, we're not totally sure who Justin is, but Justin. That should disorder them, I think. Nope. And I'll finish them off the uh, enemy, the general. The mounted is so nice. The mount being mounted is really good. Level three. I'm really annoyed about losing that spearman unit. Okay, can you rest up and you can advance forward. I'm not liking the look of them woods at the moment in time. We'll probably send the uh, volunteers first. Um, or even the conscripts. <laughs> oh, a murder of crows are here. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's go and send the conscripts into the woods. And we do have a ruin, but unfortunately with the wealth depleted, um, there will just be dust there. Conscripts, do your worst. Oh. Okay, we're not far off, but at the same time, I can see a unexplored city there. And I think the conscript thing only happens when you have... I don't know if it's when you, they have... Uh, do they have to have wealth in the... It doesn't say to actually has to have wealth in the region, so I wonder if you still have to have wealth in the region to get it. Yeah, it's just hard. I, just, I was taking a bit too long. Yeah, I want to try it and see if it actually works with no region wealth. We do have a cave to the right as well. No, just old bones. I don't think anyone's in there now, so I think we can... Uh, time is running a little bit short, ladies and gentlemen, so we may just push ahead as much as we can. I will try that conscript um, ability before we leave. Yes, it works. So the conscript ability does not require there to be wealth in the region. Uh, what did we actually get from that? Do we actually... I don't think we got anything, did we? Oh, 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 oh. And it's only on one bit. I don't think we got anything. Uh, we got two units of archers. Three units of archers. No, we didn't get anything. So I think region wealth is applicable. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So it, it makes sense. It makes sense. If there's no wealth there, there's no people. Um, we scavenged 150 gold. And I think that's gravy. 
Oh, seven weapons. It has to be seven weapons, guys. I'm not even going to ask you now. I'm not even going to ask. We're doing seven weapons. Uh, we are going to skip past this so I can save it and come back to this another day. Um, we're just going to save it as the curse. Oh, is that saving or not? That's, that's not right. I, uh... We'll see about that. So, we've come to the end of the hour of the uh, prelogue to the Fantasy Generals 2. So, uh, I really enjoyed that, playing with an Empire player. I uh, hope you, ladies and gentlemen, liked this um, little, now a little, what's the word, taste of it. If you're not a fan of Fantasy Generals 2, please check it out on the Steam Store. Because, uh, you know what, I really enjoy Every time I play it, I always find something new that I've not uh, learnt before. Uh, and it is really, really fun. So, like I said, I've, I've come just about to the end of this stream. Uh, please check the link, which I may try and provide uh, with... Uh, some moving around. Um, please check the link towards the free giveaway. Um, this is uh, uh, there'll be five randomly generate, uh, randomly chosen people um, to get a free Fantasy Generals two key. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, I am hosting. Uh, I'm being hosted by Slivering Games tomorrow, uh, and I'll be giving and Slivering are giving me ten Field of Glory two uh, keys to give away tomorrow uh, on at five o'clock. British Standard Time to 7 o'clock British Standard Time. So come find me tomorrow, uh, Saturday the 4th of July, and I'll be streaming Field of Glory 2 and giving away 10 keys. So please come and find me on there. Um, it'll be on the schedule, so if you are fancy, uh, fancy your chances um, to watch me give away keys and maybe receive them, it will be interesting to do so. Uh, of course, yet again, thank you very much to Slivering Games and Bruno probably in chat uh, for letting me come and stream us today. Really enjoy uh, the games. And like repeating what Marco said, um, uh, probably an hour ago uh, it is a home of Wargamers and it is so nice to be here uh, uh, streaming the games of Slytherin and, and enjoying them and hopefully you guys in the chat uh, and around the world enjoy what we do here so hopefully you guys enjoy the next day or two of um, entertainment I would go as far as say uh, like I said Pixel put it for me tomorrow have a great day folks I'm going to be watching the next thing as well so have a great day enjoy yourselves folk and I will see you on the next Slytherin stream whenever that may be Bye, folks. Have a great day.